Quetzal Quattle Entertainment presents Quimmin's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 173, Meeting with Team Rocket. censorship organization I founded, Team Rocket. I forgot that I even founded it. Alright, it's time to call a meeting with them. Now hang on. Attention Team Rocket! There will be a meeting in the basement of the Celadon Game Corner in Animation Land at 2 o'clock. I repeat, there will be a meeting in the basement of the Celadon Game Corner in Animation Land at 2 o'clock. If you want to attend, I'll teleport you there. Alright, well the meeting will be held in an hour and a half, so I guess I could stop by Hooper store for a soda before I head to Celadon City. Come on, let's go! Hello, Quentin. How are you today? Doing just fine. I actually have a meeting with my anti-censorship organization, Team Rocket, in an hour and a half. Oh, that's right, you found us such an organization. Anyway, what will it be today? I'll just go with a Diet Coke, please. Coming right up. It's a good thing Mr. Hooper understands my preferences for my food, don't you think? Alright, one Diet Coke. Drink to your health. Thank you! Alright, well I have about an hour before the meeting, so I guess I could listen to the radio to pass the time. And now, prepare yourself for the radio dramatization of Tim Burton's musical classic, The Nightmare Before Christmas! Wow, they even included the complete versions of all the musical numbers. Funny story, I was actually introduced to the movie via a musical number called This Is Halloween. I was hooked on the song ever since. SEVEN! It's Oogie's turn to boogie now! Well, that was a magnificent radio adaptation. Well, there's about 10 minutes left till the meeting, so I may as well get ready and head to Zeldon City. Come on! Wow, rockets from all over the country came down here for this meeting. Alright everyone, quiet please! When I first decided I wanted to watch and read everything uncensored, I got upset often because the major corporations were DENYING me such dreams. After four years, I decided I'd taken enough! Thank you, thank you. And so, I am announcing a civil rebellion against censoring animation and illustrated books. What's your plan for this civil rebellion? You wanna know? It's where we'll recreate the uncensored versions of any animated work that was censored after the original release, whether domestically or overseas, in protest. I actually have the first project in this rebellion in development. What is it? It's a recreation of the original Roadshow version of Disney's Fantasia. I thought Miyako and I saw that version last spring. Unfortunately, it was only a theatrical re-release from 1946. In that version, Deep Sailor's narrations are shortened, except one. Now after that, I'm still searching for the complete James Taylor narrations, and so I need somebody who will keep in touch with me and the organization for any updates on lost media. Perhaps we can do the job? Who are you two? Musashi! Portugal! What they say? Wow! A out that can speak the human language. All right, you guys have the job. All right, we'll head to Burbank, California in search of the complete Deems Taylor narrations. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Don Giovanni. Don Giovanni? Yeah, we decided to give you that nickname for honor. Huh, <laughs> name fits, as I'm like a father figure to you all. All right, stay tuned for subsequent readings. Dismissed! Wow, I actually feel like Team Rocket will shine and spread all over the world. My campaign against censoring animation and illustrated books is already on the way. But there's still a ways to go. I feel that with my leadership, Team Rocket will lead my rebellion to victory. Anyway, thanks for coming. Stop by whenever crime attacks, okay? Alright, 
See you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the Public Broadcasting Service.